first cut with my D0704. Something simple, Delrin. A little noisy on the belt drive there. I got a little bit of wobble in the pulleys because I bored the uh, bore just a little bit oversized on both the spindle and the motor pulley, so I think I might uh, redo those. be cutting out 10 click wheels. Here's the piece that's been cut out. You can see the little discs. Uh, actually, they look like little gears, but they don't actually have a gear tooth profile. Usually, I use a little bit of mist coolant on the Delrin. It helps keep the, uh, the Delrin fibers from sticking to the end mill. 16th inch end mill. I'm not doing any coolant right now just so I can keep an eye on this and just a simple first run. I'm going to let it finish up the holes and then when it starts doing the profiles I'll come back and do some more recording. I just kicked the spindle up to 4,500 RPM. I was running at 3,700 when I cut out the, uh, the hole. Now we're doing the profile, of the tooth profile of the click wheel. I'm also doing this at 10 inches per minute, which is about half of what I normally do on my X2. Um, again, this is the first time I've cut anything under CNC control on this uh, new mill. So I wanted to be a little conservative. I'll pump the uh, IPM up to uh, 12 and then 14, 16, 18, and 20 as I... Uh, Complete this, uh, this lot of 10. Okay, now I'm going to go kick it up to 12. hooked up my overhead lighting here also. I have some uh, new LED lights to really illuminate this area, um, especially with the enclosure kind of cuts down a lot of the lighting. Okay, that was at 12. Now let's kick it up to 14. Okay, 14. A little bit faster. Steppers on this mill make a completely different noise than the steppers on my X2. The X2 has kind of a kind of a humming sing-song sound, and this one sounds more I don't know Tron-like, I guess. 
Okay, I think we can step it up a little bit now. Step it up to 18. up to full speed. Oh, that's a good view. You get that nice uh, kind of glare off the top of the Delrin. So you can really see the profile being cut. Sorry about the cheesy aluminum hold down clamps. Uh, I'm actually redoing all of my fixtures and uh, we'll do all the clamps again in uh, steel. Uh, these were just some I had on the bottom of the drawer. I've got the other set um, of good ones on my X2 right now because I'm machining some uh, aluminum and brass parts. This is going to be great. I'll more than double my productivity because I can run two mills at the same time. Plus, I have a much larger work envelope on this on this mill. This particular part, I run 10 at a time because that's as much as I could get on the X2's cable with clamps and the fixture and whatnot. It looks like I could probably add at least one and maybe two more rows and probably, oh geez, I could probably double the number of columns. So I could probably quadruple, go to 40 parts per run, which would, um, you know, just save me a lot of time in terms of uh, fixturing and cutting material dimension and, uh, and just letting it run. free a little bit. I use three tabs on each of these click wheels um, and then I cut those tabs off, trim them off and uh, yeah I saw that that area lifting a little bit so the tab probably got cut through. I'll need more clamps on the new fixture. Okay, you can see the parts there. They look pretty nice. This is a really old uh, program, uh, one of my earlier ones, so um, I really need to update it. I guess when I uh, make the bigger fixture and have more parts, I'm going to update it. A lot of optimizations I can make. That run took 18 minutes and 14 seconds. Um, 
I suspect with just a little bit of optimization I could get that down to well like 12 13 minutes and um, up the uh, up the IPMs a little bit. This Delrin is easy material to um, to work. Um, I need to use GWiz and figure out my speeds and feeds on this now that I'm getting a little more sophisticated with that too. I just kind of eyeballed it when I uh, started making these parts a couple of years ago. But anyway, there it is, the first run uh, with my new G0704. Um, it's uh, not quite completely buttoned up yet, but um, as you can see, it's working fine. This is uh, with a Haas conversion uh, with ball screws. Um, right now I do have my Y stepper out front, but I've actually got a new, uh, a new uh, ball screw and uh, the material to make the mount. So I've started making the mount. I'm going to put the ball screw in the back um, and do a little bit of an extension on the axis, um, on the Y axis. So that'll give me even more uh, play room to, uh, to mill larger or more parts. So there we go. Um, parts look pretty good. I, I think I did a pretty good job of calibrating this, um, so I suspect that they're going to be nice and round. Uh, my X and Y axis, the backlash on them, are, is, is minimal. I mean, I, I couldn't even measure it with my normal, uh, um, my normal tool. I uh, ended up, it was somewhere in the neighborhood of about a half of a thou on both the X and Y. I haven't measured backlash on the uh, Z yet, um, because most of my work is 2D. Um, I don't really care that much about the z-axis, although I am starting to get into more engraving and some other uh, uh, three-dimensional um, uh, milling profiles. So I am going to be concerned about that on this machine. Um, I just haven't had an opportunity to, to check it yet, but I suspect it's pretty tight. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, there we go. And here they are, all done. Notice that there's only nine of them. I had milled ten. That one that had popped the tabs uh, while it was being milled uh, a couple of the teeth got mangled, so I can't use that. Um, but the rest of them came out perfect, and uh, they've been countersunk. You can see the three holes around the uh, around the center are countersunk a little bit. That's for a flathead screw that attaches it to the back of the spool on the, my fly fishing reel kits, and um, they look great. So I would say that my uh, G0704 is ready to put into service. Um, do a little bit more buttoning down. I've got to figure out where to mount my motor controller. Um, my flood coolant is all ready to go. Uh, the enclosure is all set. Um, just button things up and uh, ready to rock.